Porta potties to compost. Let's head out to Amy now with a way to get rid of food that's just wasting away. Mm -hmm. Amy. Yeah, we get rid of so much food on a daily basis, but there's a good way to put that food to use, even after maybe it's not good for your palate anymore. And Tiger and Jim from the San Diego Food Bank are here to tell us about your recycling and compost good center. Morning. Yeah. What yeah. a smart idea. So tell me more about that. I've not heard of this. You have to well, fill me in. You know, we like to say a funny thing happened on the way to being a cost efficient uh, nonprofit. When you're a nonprofit, it's about the donor, it's about taking that money and mm -hmm. putting it to use in the community. And we found out that if we were more environmental, we could also be more cost efficient. So mm -hmm. we have 1,400 solar panels on our roof. That saves wow. us about $120,000 a year, which is about 600,000 meals. And wow. then we've opened up a state-of-the-art compost and recycle center mm -hmm. on site first food bank in the United States to do it. It's also saving us money, but it's also taking a lot of food product that would normally end up in the landfill. So how do you get that food to you so that you can put it to good use? Well, we do about 22 million pounds of food a year at San Diego Food Bank, and we were putting about 600,000 pounds of refuse in the landfill. So now we get product that comes in that's too far past expiration, the can is too dented or what have you, mm -hmm. or produce that we can't distribute. Instead of taking that to the landfill, now we're able to put that in our turbo digester and then our <laughs> composter, and we basically take this uh, food product and we turn it into compost in five days. And we're showing you some pictures of that process right now. Tiger, what is yeah, it exactly do you have here? So this is the finished compost product. So after, you know, what it's the amazing thing about it is, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, it's a machine that all this material right here can just go into just mm -hmm. the way it is. Okay. The machine then splits the, between the cans and the plastic and the paper. Wow. And then it takes the food and turns it into this compost. This compost then goes to community gardens that are local in the area, and it helps them produce food, produce down the road that, like I said, it's a full circle program. Right. It's really amazing. Right. What have you heard from the people that are using your compost? Have they noticed a dramatic? They, they love it. And the program's still relatively new. We've already done about 90,000 pounds of the compost. but. Uh, you know, we didn't know really anything about compost before we started. So you actually have to take your compost and send it to a lab to make sure it's high-grade compost, uh, which it is. And so, we're, as I mentioned, we're the first food bank in the United States to have this. So one of our biggest partners right now is Leach Tag Foundation, and they have mm -hmm. the largest probably community garden uh, uh, ever, and then a lot of other nonprofits that we work with. So it's great product, and it's helping produce more fresh produce. Right. It's all about healthy kids who can be uh, mm -hmm. healthy uh, students who can help uh, break the cycle of poverty. Because that's important, because fresh produce can be spendy. Exactly. But we all need it, and now y'all are able to help so many more people. That's you know, true. most of the people, when they're on a fixed income, are buying really inexpensive products, which mm -hmm. aren't always the best for you. Right. But this gives them an opportunity to actually get something that's healthy and strong for them. Now, here are some examples of what they kind of want at the food bank. Okay. So you can see the different canned items. Peanut butter. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most important products they can actually have. Protein. High in protein. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids love it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, Adults you love it too. Yeah, Come I mean, on. Yeah, you really can't go wrong too, with it. It's too expensive for us to buy. So we love peanut butter donations. Okay. So yeah. anytime I can come by in and help Please. you out with this. Okay. Yeah. Other items that you really would like? Um, you know, any of the high protein items, the mm -hmm. canned meats, the fish, all of that stuff. But at the same time, one of the cool things is that they have a graph that's going to break down the expiration dates. Okay. So when you look on top of a can and you see the best buy date, mm -hmm. that doesn't always mean it's expired right. after that. Mm -hmm. So at the food bank, they know if it is a can of peaches, they have two years past the best buy date or one year wow. past the best buy. Okay. So they'll still use it and have people be able to get good use out of it mm -hmm. even after that fact. Even though you might think it's expired, it's not. So really, if it's if you're not sure, bring it anyway. Well, we'll take it all. And, and as I mentioned, I mean, people are really surprised to learn that some product, even like something acidic like canned tomatoes, mm -hmm. is, are good a year past the expiration date. Dry goods, you know, <laughs> three years past the expiration date. Mm -hmm. But we do get product that's far past that or the canned is too dense. Dented, okay. which could be a health risk because it's a sharp dent and the, so the metal could leach into the food. These are the products that we're going to put in that composter. These are the things we're going to get out and help uh, people grow fresh produce. How has this changed your mission? Well, it's in keeping with our mission. I think it's just the next step forward in our mission because really we're about serving the community. Mm -hmm. We're a local food bank, so we're really trying to help people. You know, we feed 370,000 people a month. Wow. So when we can save, you know, $150,000 a year, mm -hmm. and that equates to, you know, eight or 900,000 more meals in the community, mm -hmm. it's all about the local community bringing in local resources yeah. and feeding people in need. So if folks are watching at home and they want to help either with the, the foods and, and canned donations that we passed on or maybe put into the recycling program, how do they do that? Well, SanDiegoFoodBank.org will change your life because everything we're doing <laughs> as an organization, uh, people can go online, make a financial gift. Mm -hmm. We can take $1, leverage that into five meals. That's awesome. uh, they, we have a virtual food drive where they can buy food on our behalf. We mm -hmm. have events throughout the year. So what we just ask people, come out and support your local food Volunteer bank. Volunteer their time. That's how I found out Absolutely. about the See Their Composting 
processing facility, it's mm -hmm. amazing what they That's can do. Awesome. And always remember too that hunger doesn't have a season. That that is your absolutely Your need true. is year round. Well, yeah. we appreciate your time. You're doing an amazing job, really paying it forward in so many ways, not only now, but for generations to come Let's with healthy so. yes. produce. Thank you so much. Thank